Hello everyone and we're here at Depth Snails 40th World doing a video on what I have already told you all in a past video. Cynthia was slated to leave. I guess she got enough guts. Why she left? I don't know cat. Most people are saying she got fired. That's believable. Other people are saying she just got tired of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And other people are saying she got casted as a friend of the show. Which was a major demotion from holding a peach, being a peach holder. Okay, but now she can do all these fun things with her life. Like, what happened to the Bailey agency? What happened to her eyewear? What happened to her promoting herself or her agency into finding models of all, all shapes and sizes and all different cultures and diversities? What happened to all this stuff? I mean, she had a luggage line, too. So, I don't know. I'm like, ooh, don't call the pot. Ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? She didn't want to be on Nene's side when Nene was up there protesting about how Bravo was treating their OGs and, you know, getting rid of them, giving them lesser uh, airtime. And, of course, that is, uh, if you go on her Facebook account or maybe it's Instagram, you will find her goodbye letter. Okay, and it's all just talks about, you know, she had a fun 11 years, da da dee da da uh, She's grateful for the cast. I mean, what else you going to say? You don't want to dog out your employer, you know, in hopes to, that something else may come down the line. Yeah, whatever happened to Cynthia and Mike in their little show they were supposed to have, some kind of dating show. I tell you, they be lying up the crack of their asses sometimes when people... Of higher places or interviewers from different magazines, you know, try to check in with them and ask them what they doing, what they working on, and just that and the third, and here they go lying. Instead of telling the phone, we ain't working on them right now. We just chilling. We just enjoying life and this, that, and that. Just, just be real. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to give it to us all. Everything. <sighs> but don't put yourself out there where you're going to have to come back and backtrack. We're just basically making yourself look stupid. You know, honey... Said there wasn't too much of anything until she got hooked up with Peter Thomas. <laughs> and I tell you, Peter helped her save her peach many, many times over. Yes, Prince, we do know this. Uh, Cynthia would have been gone. Because Cynthia has really been ah, the dry wood on, you know, on the show. Uh, basically not giving us anything and making all that kind of money. I think she got paid a million but per episode, not episode, but per season or something like that. And to sit there and really don't do nothing but be in a indecisive type of mood all the time. Getting paid that kind of money. <laughs> That's right, Whitney. Hell to the now. Mm -mm, they they should have gave that money to me. And Prince trying to figure it out, too. Like, what's really going on? Yeah, that's too much money for her not to have been bringing anything. But like I said... Now she can spend some time with her sister Mallory. I don't think Mallory is married anymore too. Uh, so she can spend some time with Mallory. She can damn sure spend some more time with her mama. Because I think her mama's still in Georgia. But I think Cynthia's going back and forth. Hopefully she leaves that Lake Bailey's home. And then, you know, she can, you know, rescue the rest of her money out of that. Or her equity and sell it. Because I don't think she planned on being here anymore. Uh, since, you know, she's not a part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast anymore. And it just really seems to say, if the writer's on the wall, everybody who has been on that show at least 10 years plus, they can look to surely look to getting counsel or ask to be a friend. Which, you know, if you didn't really want to not be a friend, because that is kind of like the motion, you know, center. But if you could have held on, you could have been a friend on the show, Cynthia. You could have been a friend. Just get you some coin. But I know your pride will let you do it. And Mike was like, well, hell, if they don't want, they don't want you on there, then you don't need to be on there anytime. Taking up your time, you could be doing something like this. Probably like a little henpecked man in the back. Not giving her no type of good advice. But honey, whoo child, Leon she should stay with. But, you know, some people say Leon, you know. He go, he fight a bisexual, but that's what the streets say. I ain't saying. Then, of course, when Cynthia had, had to try all these men uh, for her storyline, she would date some man. The man wasn't even steady her. He was just trying to get some 15 minutes of fame herself. Then she put her daughter out there 
with a storyline trying to say she's fluid. She, you know, she like women now. She went to college for that little brief period, I think, what, two or three months, called herself liking women. So she is part of the LBGT community, okay? Which, to me, I think it's a total farce. I think that was just a storyline to help her mama out and to grab some more supporters for her team. And I tell you, since Cynthia been messing with mike she's really looking like a hoe around now a hoe okay what in the world is she sitting up there wearing them daisy dukes cracked up her ass for she damn near 60 years old and she's sitting up there wearing some stuff like that i'm like come on cynthia very nice body you got it you got it. you kept it all in good shape okay but like stuff like that you could have on this it's it's plowable you know it, it, it's it's very wearable doable and it's for your age group but some of these outfits since you married mike Girl, you think you're too hot to try. And I'm like, girl, it don't look good. I mean, it's called conservativeness. You had all that time to show your skin, okay? And lack thereof when you were, yeah, I'm kind of disgusted, Prince, myself. When I see her in some of these skimpy outfits, I'm like, girl, you almost 60 some years old. And I'm like, at Williams, why? Why are you punishing us? Why are you punishing yourself? Dress appropriate. Now, that's one thing I can say. When she was with, I don't know, with, shake your head, baby. Shake your head. It's a travesty. But when she was with Peter, girlfriend was dressing. I mean, like Claire Huxtable. You know how Claire Huxtable used to dress? She used to dress for her office. She used to dress just going out with the ladies. She used to dress for home. You know, she was like, Whoa! you know, I just love Claire Huxtable. Even though she's Felicia Rashad in real life. But her dressing was impeccable. Now, when she was with Peter, her fashion was on point. She was classy, not trashy. They had took this pretty picture. Um, uh, it was black and white. They were laying on a sofa. I think Cynthia was laying on Peter. Ooh, it was like uh, black mafia. You know what I'm saying? Or black, uh, we call it king or something. They were like dressed like royal. Beautiful, beautiful photograph of them both. But now, how Cynthia going out here and dressing like she 17, 15, 14, and Daisy Deuce and heels. I'm like, nah, Cynthia, nah, we're trying to be a street walker or something. Girl, come with it. Come with the kit back. Get back to your classy dressing self. Because you know you can do it. You were in the fashion world. But now, all on your Instagram account, your Facebook, you just ass out. Tits out, ass out everything and it just that's not right for a person of your age and your caliber i don't understand like you can't relive your life okay you have to just take it for what it's worth and just let it be but oh child she just sitting up here she just sitting up here rocking and i'm like waiting i'm like oh i don't understand i just don't understand she doing too much she is doing too much that's why i said prince lord have mercy Cynthia done lost her mind. She done lost her paycheck that Bravo afforded her. Yes, Lord, she lost her paycheck. And they said, Cynthia, some bloggers were saying that, um, yeah, they Bravo pretty much played her too. They just really did her like they did Nene. Instead of her jumping on Nene's bandwagon when everything was hot and all this stuff, everybody wanted to. That's why I'm talking about she dressing like a thought. Like, come on, baby. What is all that? It's like you got a pad dripping from the, the, the middle part where your vagina's supposed to be. It just don't look kosher. It's just don't, not for not somebody her age. I'm sorry. But what was I saying? I kind of lost my train of thought, y'all. Oh, yeah. She should have jumped on Nene's bandwagon and tried to, you know, get uh, on Bravo's behind about, you know, them doing the OGs or the old participants that started you know uh the real housewives of atlanta franchise as well as the other states they were uh booked in see how, see how classy and dressy she was oh my god she's like fashion city all old fashion baby throwing everything got with mike she just like a hoe just just like a street walker oh who cynthia 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 but it's not too much i could say you see them at the tits out what, what is that all about what is that like, you're a mother, girl. You're a mother. <sighs> now, you know, that's that's very tasteful. Because she's, uh, you know, on a yacht. She's feeling the sun and all this stuff. So, that's that's palatable. That, that, that's, you know, I could take that. I could take that, too. 
but I'm like, do it have to be plastered all over your Instagram? I mean, shouldn't these certain things just be saved for you and Mike? And maybe, it's, you know, some people that you really know and love. You want to just show them how your figure has stayed together throughout these years. But, I mean, you just constantly like you compete with your daughter or something. This is her time to shine and be half naked if that's what she chooses to be. Because I thought she was trying to get into the modeling world as well. But since I'm like, at your age, baby, at your age now. But we're going to go on and get in the story. I just thought I would, you know, uh, see how she was uh, dressing so tasteful. And that's when she was married to Peter. Everything was such plush, you know. Even though Nene had called her husband a bitch. Because <laughs> he was just all in the females business and all that kind of stuff. And it was a it was a key key ha ha moment. It really was. I, I wasn't expecting Nene to throw that out there when they was gathered together. And she told Cynthia her husband at the time, Peter Thompson, he acting like a bitch. I said, oh God, no she did. And yes. For the record, to show that Nene just was disrespectful. But, hey, Peter forgave her. <laughs> Prince had to do a double take. Like, I know she just said what I think she said. Yes, she did, Prince. Yes, she did. But Peter still liked her. They still hung out. And best of buzz, I believe. But I guess Cynthia didn't really think that they would do her like they did Nene. Okay? Because they were really trying to censor Nene and give her less episodes uh, per season and Nene was speaking out about it and nobody wanted to really listen because everybody was so solidified in their peach holding status they didn't want to damage it now look at it now Cynthia you're on your platform your social media platform saying goodbye to us bye 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 Cynthia it was good while it lasted you had 11 strong years uh you're still beautiful now this is classy I like this outfit on you showing elegance elegance but these are the pictures oh child play but anyway we're gonna go and see what the guru had wrote out and it came by way of yahoo news uh it was nye mcgee had wrote it up for us today and um uh, they titled it cynthia bailey announced that she would not be returning to the real housewives of atlanta and i'm like cynthia bailey i will cynthia bailey's modeling agency they're calling you, Cynthia. They're calling you. They want you to come back and uh, do your investment that you put out there. You know, all these places you were lease leasing to have pop-up shops and stuff. Yeah, you were supposed to have been doing these things. And then they just went to the wayside. I don't know why. Why did they go to the wayside, Cynthia? We have questions and we need answers and only you can help us with it. Because you had a luggage uh, line. You had an eyewear line. And um, can't get a couple, you had a modeling agency, but nothing has come to fruition of any of that. So I, I don't know. It's not. I don't see a lot of advertising, or I don't see a lot of stuff in the stores like I once saw them. So is everything online now? But again, yeah, you should have supported Nene because now you're in Nene's boat without a job with Real Housewives of Atlanta. But Nene has done well for herself. She's, you know, looking at other avenues. She got a little lounge in Duluth, Georgia. And, you know, I'm pretty sure she's going to be trying to do some things in the near coming future. Maybe y'all could hash things out, work as a team. I don't know if Nene wants you on her team anymore. Or even really want to be friends with you, Cynthia. Because you kind of, you were wishy-washy. You were wishy-washy. You was going with the crowd. You know, you have to, you know, call a spade a spade. That's where you were. You were out there going with Candy and Kenya. And, you know, here we are. Neither one of them are saying anything. Or if they're saying anything, they're keeping it out the public eye. They're keeping it off social media. So, I don't know. But remember, all things work good together for them that love the Lord. So, you say you know the Lord, girl. So, just look at this as a door closed. But another window will open. A window of opportunity will open for you soon, if you believe. Okay, but going into the article that this uh, Nye McGee had wrote up. Um, the title of their article was Cynthia Bailey announces she will not be returning to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. She goes on to her social media platform and says, Thank you to my Real Housewives of Atlanta castmates for 11 of the most unbelievable years of my life. Uh, yeah, we do nothing. She's just saying this shit, Prince. She, she don't believe what she's writing or we don't even know if she wrote this. But anyway, 
Bailey wrote, Cynthia Bailey announced in an Instagram message on Monday that she is leaving the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Bailey has been on the hit Bravo re reality series season for 11 seasons. In her post, she noted that she has made the very difficult and heartfelt decision not to return for the next season of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I'm like, come on, Cynthia, nobody just leaves. Ain't nobody going to give up that platform to advertise their goods and services that they want people to partake of. Nobody. Now, yeah. We looking at you, man. Pretty looking at you like, are you crazy? You, could you have said something else? You could have just said, you know, they wanted to offer me a lesser role. They wanted to demote me to a friend. And I just didn't want to go out like that. So I'm just going to say no. Turn them down and go on. And, you know, hopefully other endeavors will open up for me. But even when we were trying to tell him. When she went on her show, that you know, you ain't gonna make it. it I, I think this is the end for Cynthia. What does Cynthia have up her sleeve? And of course, Cynthia was like, you know, trying to not catch the salt that Wendy was throwing her way and trying to, you know, do what she'd normally do deflect and smile. And hopefully, you know, um, the interviewer would ask another question. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But going back to the article, it says, um, she continued, thank you, NBC, Universal, Bravo, and Truly Original for over a decade of partnership. I can't wait to see what we do next. Thank you to my Real Housewives of Atlanta castmates for 11 of the most unbelievable years of my life and the most incredible and unforgettable memories. I'm like, yeah, you got married twice on the show. One was publicized. And it was gorgeous. It was fabulous. I love that gray gown and how everything was accented off of you and Peter's attire. Everyone looked beautiful. Then you thought you were going to get that spin off of a wedding with Mike. And due to the Ovid, everything pretty much got shut down. But you were acting all kind of Brazil around there too. Talking about you wanted to have your wedding how you wanted to have it. And you wanted all these people. And you didn't want them to have, you know, checks and uh we got screenings and stuff of that nature you, you want i'm like girl you just already had a win okay and then you want to give us another one i wouldn't want to do it either and barbara said no we're not gonna cover your wedding because this is too much of a haphazard okay we're not gonna we're not gonna do it we're not gonna be uh having folks to us if they catch covid and all that stuff so that got thrown to the wayside and like i said your daughter pretty much saved you with that whole thing of her being fluid Meaning, you know, she tested the water, she liked, she kissed the girl, and she liked it. So she stayed over there in, in that pool for a while. I don't know if she's still that, in that pool or whatnot. Because like I said, it could have just been a storyline. She could have just been helping her mama out to uh, give her something interesting to talk about on the show. Because, you know, just with Mike, you know, he wasn't really bringing it. And what he did uh, bring, we didn't like, we wanted to give it back. We didn't want to refund. We just didn't want to see him anymore. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't happen that way. We still got a chance to have to look at him and and all his nonsense and all of that. So we're going to see how that works out. We're going to see how that marriage fair since she's not bringing in that money anymore. So and it doesn't seem like her other businesses are that lucrative as well. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, she's on that all-star thing uh, reunion or something with an uh, old OGs. Was on there, but hell, Nene should have been a part of that too. But I guess Nene, she wants she, she threw a bravo shot. She said she threw for now. She, she can't take it. So yeah, she's supposed to be on Peacock or something like that. I, I am. I'm not gonna be watching it because I don't care about the All Stars, the OGs from whatever house franchise or whatever state. And I, you know, I want to fade your paws back. I wholeheartedly wanted Frazier Paws back. But I know we ain't getting Frazier Paws back until we get rid of Candy. Candy gonna have to exit. Exit stage left before Frazier can be brought back because uh, evidently they must have a set rule or whatever. Candy gonna get down there and, and put the pencil to the pad and, and get their behinds for letting Frazier do and say what she did trying to destroy her brand, her, her family, her livelihood, all that kind of stuff. So they're like, okay, if I'm here, Frazier cannot be here. When I leave, y'all can bring Frazier. So that, that must have been some kind of uh, networking idea that they had that they constructed that, okay. So, Candy, your time may be limited, too. You, you know, <laughs> I'm just saying. If they got Nene and they got them other OGs from those other franchises of the Housewives, I'm pretty sure you're going to be next because, you know, we had to get, we had to boot Cynthia out. You know, she she just wasn't bringing it, wasn't giving it. And we everybody keeps telling 
uh, or talking in social media world that Cynthia brings nothing. Are you kidding me? You know, <sighs> we need somebody else. So I guess they kept, you know, hearing it and hearing it after season after season. And she just became the common denominator that, yep, she's sinking the boat. Let's get her out. But I just can really see them replacing everybody. And they're just doing it a little bit by little bit. But the people they keep getting, it's just getting on my nerves. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's like they're picking up has-beens. Except for this new one that's coming out. Uh, Sanya Richards-Ross, I think. She's a past Olympian. Uh, she's a sports commentator. So, I look uh, forward to seeing what she brings. Now, she only have like three times to uh, show, on, you know, to be on the show and I'm viewing her episode, whether she's going to make it with me or not. Okay, she might be making it with Bravo, but, you know, my attention span is very short and very limited. And I can't stand a lot of bullshit, okay? So, we'll see. We'll see. But going back to the article, it says, Bailey will appear on Real Housewives of uh, Real Housewives spinoff, Ultimate Girls Trip, which was filmed in Turks and Caicos, and is slated to air on Peacock later this year. The show features fellow Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore, as well as Kylie Richards from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, uh, Teresa uh, Guaitis, and Melissa Gorga of Real Housewives of New, New Jersey, or New yeah New Jersey, and Real Housewives of New York, uh, Luann De Lippis and Ramona Singer. Okay, so she's hitting over there with the Caucasian persuasion and the little Italians. Okay, yeah, they over there are swinging. But on her Instagram account, she definitely thanks everybody from the top to the bottom of the industry. She is. She says she's so grateful to have had this amazing journey, and I am anxious, awaiting to embark on new in adventures. Most importantly, thank you to my fans. I could not have done it without your blessings, love, and support. Without the fans, none of this would be possible. I love and appreciate all of you. It's time to move on to my next chapter, and I look forward to sharing it with all of you. See you guys soon. Cynthia Bailey Hill. Okay, yeah, that's what she said, girl. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, Cynthia, that's what you said. That's what you said, girl. Them are your words, not mine. Okay, but um, just a little excerpt when she was on the Wendy Williams show. Bailey hinted that she wouldn't be returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta during her appearance on the Wendy Williams show in June. Okay, word on the street is I may be out of a job, she said. Here's the thing. Nobody really wants to be fired, she continued. I mean, my first job was Taco Bell. I wouldn't want to be fired from there. I would want the option to leave if I wanted to go. God's will, not my will, will be done. I have an amazing run. Uh, I have had an amazing run. It's been 11 amazing years as a consistent peach holder. And I was like, okay. So, the writing was on the wall pretty much for Miss Cynthia. She was just hoping that it wasn't true. But then bringing back Sheree Whitfield. Uh, then giving Marlo Hampton a peach. Whoa. That had to be a blow. Because she was a friend of the family. Look how she climbed up. She, um, the the uh, LBG community forgave her for making negative remarks or nasty remarks uh, somewhere way down the line or way back when. And she had proven herself to, you know, be forgiven. So, it was time for her to have a peach, you know. I don't know what Marlo can pretty much bring, but fashion, um, interrupt some stuff. She's good at interrupting and then being passive aggressive about it. And uh, I guess show us how she's being a stepmom, a mama aunt, a aunt mama to her two uh, nephews. Okay. I don't know if that's going to hold our attention long enough to... Uh, not be so judgmental on her and what she's bringing to the table. But we'll see. I mean, why not? Like, Cat Williams say, why? I'm asking why not. But, I mean, Cynthia has other endeavors out there. She used her coin correctly. Okay? Um, like I said, she can pump up that hour line. She can definitely pump up that agency. She loves modeling. We know this. Uh, can you give somebody else a chance? Where are your connections at, baby? Um... I don't know. I don't know. But I wish her well. 
I wish her well, but I can't say I'm sorry that she's not going to be on the show because she really wasn't giving us anything. She could have given us something five seasons ago, but she's always been playing it safe. I always don't want to get into it. And if she says anything, she's always saying it behind somebody's back. She's not saying it in front of them. And the people she should have been cussing out, okay, she let them ride. Or she was like, you know, they're my friend. I can't believe she said this. Ah, oh, said there was just too much. She was too wish watch her. And we needed her to be firm. Either you're going to be for it or you're not going to be for it. It ain't no riding the fence no more. But she loved riding that fence. And see, she got all them uh, wood chips in her behind. Now she got to go pluck them out because she don't have a job anymore. A very lucrative job. A job that was uh, bringing her a platform to tell us about other adventures she was um partaking of you know what i'm saying this was a very good outlet for her but she didn't know how to use it she threw caution to the wind and now she needs to lean on her husband he needs to be her provider her protector her everything okay and she just needs to sit down and look pretty all right but we'll see how long that lasts. We will see how long that lasts. That's all I have for this video, guys. If you like it, love it, and you want to see more, please don't hesitate but to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I will be right here giving you my thoughts and my opinions on certain topics of discussion. But that's all I had. Y'all get down in those comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about Cynthia gracing us on her social media platform telling us she finna get the hell out of here. <laughs> But I'm like, girl, the most exciting time you had was when you was uh, hooked up with uh, Peter. And Peter really holds you down. He held you down, girl, with a storyline. You just had to look frustrated, mad, and this, that, and the third. Okay, because you really wasn't bringing nothing, Cynthia. You really wasn't. And then you got paid a million, an uh, episode, or two million. You know, you really wasn't doing anything. You weren't working for it like the rest of these other women on the show starting shit. You know, creating shit. But you were just living in the shit. So, it's just what it is. But that's all I got. I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.